My ways too small, my face too cute, my game too strong, your man too close, he on my phone about these bills. Put mommy on the phone, he ain't never coming on. Look, I'm about to go in, I'ma get inside, he bitch your head like a sewing. I'ma lace the track in the front, make it blend in, pull that shit back so the glue ain't sh Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius reporting live. Hello, hello. Let me talk to you about what type of time I'm on. It's currently 10 o'clock at night. We got tortilla chips, mocha frap. It's called dieting. Okay, not not really good, but I just don't feel like cooking. It's too late at night. I plan on going to the gym. I'm trying to get some readings done. So, hi guys. We're here to talk about the planets. Mars is currently in the sign of Scorpio, uh, October 12th until November 23rd. That is a little bit of a stretch, babe. So we're going to be talking about how you're going to be affected. What's going to be going on with you during this transit, okay? Y'all know how these go. You can have sun or Mars in a fire sign or one of the fire sign houses. Hold on, girl. Watch where you're going. No, I'm playing. Um, <laughs> first, fifth, or the ninth, and some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Thank you guys for all the continued support. Bookings, likes, shares, comments, subscribes, recommendations, tips, all that. I really appreciate it. Baby girl is starting to post a little bit more. Little bit? Little bit? Whichever one. In the community tab, discount promo sale is still active to book. Content information is in the description box down below. All of the info will be in the pinned comment in the comments section. Thank you. <laughs> to everybody that has booked so far, I really appreciate that. So, um, Mars and Scorpio, little bit of background. We might as well. Okay, Mars and Scorpio is a very driven um placement to have so expect for um you to be a little bit more ambitious have a little bit more energy about yourself have a little bit more gumption a little bit of more gung-ho energy about yourself just you could feel a little bit more driven to get things done um during this transit you know mars is the ruler of the zodiac sign scorpio so it does fairly well when it's placed in like i said the sign of scorpio so let's discuss how you guys are going to be affected. Hold on, babes. I forgot that I needed this. Okay. This is my monthly. <laughs> this is my monthly um Oracle deck. We're going to pull one card to see what your overall energy is going to be um, with this transit. And then we're going to spread it for you, okay? You need the energy, girl. We need the energy. So here, guys, come hither, please. <laughs> What's uh? How was this? Hold up, damn! I ain't even asked no questions. But fire signs change your ways. Some of you guys could be being urged or feeling the urge to switch it up, babe. I don't know if it's the way that you take the work. Um, how you are? Hold on. Ed and thank you how you are prioritizing your responsibilities during this time. But I'm hearing adapt look at what's on the bottom of the deck because you know i'll be reading the fuck out these cards any type responsibilities come first but joy comes second and when that's showing up with the change your ways, some of you guys it could be very important say, for you to practice balance whenever it comes to um work life balance you know what i mean like going after your goals taking care of your responsibilities maintaining yourself you know, being an adult, right? But there also needs to be some time to where you pour into self, you pour into your own hobbies, you pour into your own interests. You basically you cater to you, you no know, destiny's child. So you guys, how's Mars and Scorpio? Transy. Affecting all the fire signs. October twelfth until November twenty third. Is that it? Yeah. In the year twenty twenty three. God damn. It was unexpected. So expect it. Okay? Something wicked this way comes. Some of you guys will have some unfavorable, uh, unexpected, unfavorable situation happen during this transit. What is it about? New residents. Some of you guys, it could be um, regarding a relocation. It could be in regards to you settling, uh, settling into a new home. 
Yeah. Let's just say it has something to do with the home. All right. Um, on that card, I drew something financially, something emotionally. Uh, is it still there? Yeah. And something health wise. All right. So, um, I don't know. Some of y'all could get some, <laughs> this for me could be, you. oh no, I don't want to laugh because this could be serious for me. It's like, you could get bad news in the mail, you know, some sort of letter that, you know, it's like, man, what the fuck? Okay, when I get a, when I get a fine, when they catch me running the light, bitch. Okay, I don't know. Some of y'all could get some sort of violation penalty or fee in the mail. Okay, some uh, test result. Good. What what type of results? I don't want to be in your business. I'm just asking. It's okay if you want to tell me. Okay, like I don't know. I heard some like some sort of test results coming into the mail, but I don't know. But you heard it here first. Breaking news. I should have the little tagline going across the thing. Spirit guys. How is Mars uh, in the sign of Scorpio affecting all fire signs? October 12th until November 23rd in 2023. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, nah, that's too many. Now this booty up, I don't, don't want to look at it. Okay. The law of attraction. Did we not just talk about balance, okay? But this is my karma card. What you put out will come towards you. Um, Yeah, what... What you put out, uh, like I, I, I heard what you put out would be representative of what com comes back to you. That's what I heard, okay? Spirit guy. So, God damn. Not the, not the balance falling on the floor of uh, fire signs. That's, that's no bueno, okay? So, yeah, some of you guys need to be careful about not practicing balance in your life. And I'm seeing it in more of a spiritual sense. You know, uh, you know, I don't, you know what I just heard? Some of y'all, it could be with your prayer life. It could be with expressing gratitude. It could be with taking care of yourself. Um, what's a, uh, what's a, you know, this, this is, could be as simple as how you expect to have any money if you don't work, you know? How you expect to lose weight if you're not working out? Um, you know, that, that sort of situation. It's like, how you expect to get this if you're not doing this? Let's talk about it. It's, it I'm hearing it. It's like, that's why it's so important say, to be aware of what you put out will come back towards you tenfold. And some of y'all with spirit guys showing up on the bottom of the deck, I feel like there could be some ethereal presence that could be trying to, you know, get you to realize this during this time, okay? Spirit guys, how's the Mars and Scorpio transit affecting the fire signs? All of them. October 12th to November 23rd, 2023. Nine of Wands, High Arches, Horses. I'm playing, girl. I'm not calling you no horse. Nine of Wands, but the Sages are in here reporting for duty. Um, with the Nine of Wands being your first card, Fire Signs, it could be a need for you to be very guarded during this time, okay? Uh, standing ten toes down. It's the principle, all right? Um, seven of Pentacles, or just... You know, this for me is like, uh, you know, you said you wasn't going to spend no money until this Friday. And I'm, I'm bringing up money because the Seven of Pentacles is here. And this, you know, could represent saving money or practicing patience. You, like with the Nine of Wands to me, is like, I said I was going to wait on something. I said I was going to hold off on something. I need to stick to my guns in regards to that. So some of y'all, it could be in regards to financial matters. Like I said, more so saving money. Some of y'all is dealing with somebody. Let's let's just be real. Let's just be honest. Some of y'all is dealing with somebody. Heavy on the earth. Virgo, Capricorn, probably Taurus. Because 7 minus 3 equals Quattro. Yes, Duolingo is coming in, in, in handy. Because look at the beach. <laughs> Seven of swords. Like some of y'all, this is like you feeling guarded against somebody or needing to be guarded against somebody or towards somebody because... A and or one. This is someone that is very unprofessional. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. This for me is someone that you shouldn't do business with. You shouldn't get involved. Uh, you shouldn't be involved with regarding business matters. This is some, this is like somebody that shouldn't have your account information. Someone that you shouldn't allow to um, do your taxes. Someone that you shouldn't um, buy a car with, co-sign some shit with. Okay. 
Um, yeah, you know what this gives me? You do all the work and somebody take the credit. I don't know why I just heard that. Some of y'all, that is a, a situation around you during this time. I don't know what what, but be aware of that. Um, this could be dealing with somebody who got a bitch. You know, girl, generic. All right? Dealing with somebody who got a bitch. It's like, whoa, <laughs> hold there. <laughs> hold there. You get it? Anyway, 10, 10 confirmations. Um, what else? What else? What else? This also could be you, you know, fire signs. Like I said, pertaining to your financial situation. I thought you said you was going to be saving money. Seven minus three, four, clean, hold, withdraw, seven of pinnacles, sit down. I thought you said you was going to wait. I thought you said you wasn't going to spend that. Now you talking about some, yeah, but, but what? You be careful about that. I'm hearing going back on your word, dealing with somebody who got a bitch or a dude, whichever way it go. Getting scammed, you know, whatever. Spirit guys. Or this is, you know, what I'm hearing, being able to say no. You know, if you don't want to do it, just say no. Spirit guys. Um, how's Mars and Scorpio transit affecting ah, affecting all fire signs? Look at it. I was about to talk about it too. Some of you guys did this with somebody. I'm seeing that you told somebody no, or you will be telling somebody no. And the trash going to come out. The trife don't going to come out. If it wasn't already apparent, okay? Four of swords. Yeah, this for me is like you tell somebody no. And now they acting like funny towards you. You know what? Stand on what you did and or said. Because with the seven of swords, I see someone doing this on purpose. It's kind of like they're hoping that if they, you know... If this is a situation to where you don't give somebody what they want, oh, well, fuck you then, bitch. Four of swords, they act cold towards you. They shut you out. Um, you notice the change in energy between you and this individual, right? Stick to your guns because this person is doing this on purpose. They hoping that you fold like a lawn chair. Do those fold? This could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or it could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah, this is somebody here who hell bent on winning shit. Five of Swords, Star Card, and the Four of Swords. It's like you don't even know it, but it's like someone here needs to. I'm here and have power over you or just ex exert. Thank you. Exert dominance over you. They must not know what type of games we like to play. It's fire signs. Especially if your Mars in the fire. You do this for fun. You do this for fun, okay? You got, you might gotta let them know, but you just let them know about with the nine of wands, like nah, bitch, you don't, you don't hit or call me back. We will never speak again. Understand it, spirit guys. How's Mars and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October twelfth until November twenty third in the year twenty twenty three. But like I said, someone is doing this on purpose, hoping that you break. Three of Swords. Also, like I said, this is also, I don't like that I say also that many times. I didn't cut that out. We got the nine of wands, the seven of swords, and the three of swords. Seven minus three equals what? Four of swords. Nine of wands is you, um, you know, I said no, basically. Um, someone here, let's go through the different scenarios. I see some of you guys. Re, let's say resisting someone or staying guarded against someone and with the seven of swords and the three of swords they are hurt by this like y'all can't tell let me see if y'all can tell when i whenever i flip it you see how the nine of wands back is to the seven of swords it's like someone here feels like you got over on them or you hurt them or like i said you didn't do what they wanted you to do so now they're gonna try to be funny you know but with the three of swords it looked like they didn't get their way basically and it's all I'm hearing because of the nine of wands, you asserted yourself. You didn't try to assert yourself over this person. It was just like you made your, you set your boundaries. You said no to somebody. You was like, that, that'll be all, you know? And the motherfucker mad about it. Yeah, but you, you do, you, that's good. Ace of Cups, Strength card, and the World card. Because some of you guys I'm hearing are starting to have more self-respect for yourself. You're starting to value yourself more. So you're going to come first. 
So anytime to where with the seven of swords, you feel like somebody's trying to get over on you, somebody here trying to play with you. Let let me let me let me let you know what time it is. What time it is? I'm a really rich bitch. Okay, and my Nene Leaks voice. <laughs> She's a sad. Hey, she. Oh, that's so funny. Serious guys. How is Mars and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October twelfth until November twenty third in the year twenty twenty three. Queen of Wands. Hi, ladies. With the Knight of Pentacles. Aries and Sag, listen to me. Specifically. But I could be talking to all fire sign women. Let me warn you about another bitch. Or a nigga with another bitch. Anyway. Some of y'all, whenever it comes to certain financial decisions that you are making, Knight of Pentacles, above all, plan ahead. So if you are someone that's, you know, looking to make certain investments, uh, you know, managing your finances a particular sort of way, this means, you know, always, you know what I just heard? Always plan for failure. But this for me is just like always having some money in your savings account, always having a backup plan, like not putting all your eggs in one basket. Some of y'all, that's very important say, for you to, uh, you know, make sure that you're remembering during this time, like I said, Knight of Pentacles with certain financial decisions that you are making. All right. Um. You know, isn't this so weird, ladies? babes somebody here tried to make you mad with another bitch why where do they do that and somebody here tried to make you mad with another bitch because with the nine of wands this means like no you're not getting no butt you're not getting no butt i don't want to be with you i don't want to deal with you you're not my type of time right and somebody tried to make you upset with another bitch whether this was a dude or a woman okay like somebody here went somewhere else with the seven of swords queen of swords and the three of swords and we got two queens up here it's like basically somebody here pursuing someone else to spite you. And now look what you did. Oblivion. Fool card and tower card. It's like somebody here didn't really think something through by trying to spite you with another person. Because now you involve with that. You know, with the with the tower. Nah, that's 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 not player G. Uh, some of y'all, this was the case with a water air or a earth sign individual specifically taurus pisces scorpio aquarius libra or gemini spirit guys how is this mars and scorpio transit affecting all fire signs october 12th until november 23rd in the year 2023 Six of Wands, I like it for you. I really do, okay? I hate that you're dealing with this type of shit, but it look... You got the mental. Like, I really feel like a lot of you guys are very, like... I'm Stevie Wonder to the bullshit, but I still be seeing it, though. You know, his other sense is probably heightened, so he'd probably be hearing the bullshit now. But, forgive me, God, was that blasphemous? I just fit some of you guys just have a, a very strong bullshit radar to where you're always six of wands kind of dodging 1818 confirmations the bullshit and sometimes the bullshit come in the form of people some of y'all definitely come in the form of an air sign and earth sign and water came out too okay <laughs> there go the water come on babe you know i'll be reading the fuck out of these cards Okay. <laughs> this is saying you'll never get the chance to treat me like I'm a piece of shit again or ever. All right. Some of y'all are that type. Um, some of y'all don't know it, but you came out on top just by resisting somebody, just by saying no. Okay. Some of y'all, this is also with yourself. You're going to find that if you're able to resist certain urges that you're having, seven of swords by reverting back to something, doing something that you know you're not supposed to be doing, um, being counterproductive, you're going to see good results. 1919 confirmations. This for me is like, you know, it's 
Um, you know, like whenever like you drink a lot of alcohol, like you tend to be very dehydrated, it starts to show up in your skin. Some of y'all, you know, this could be you going through a certain detox and you see it within yourself. You see that your hair is looking a lot healthier. Your skin is looking a lot healthier. You're feeling a lot better. Let me stop being a Leo for a minute. Spirit guys, how's the Mars and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 12th to November 23rd in the year 2023. You know what I just heard five times? I was like, bitch, I've been activated. You better watch out, little bitch. So we got nine minus six. What does that equal? Three of wands. Look at, look at the lineup. Look at how the story is talking to you, babes, okay? I just be knowing. I just be seeing. Some of y'all, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Three of Wands with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands out here. I just feel like a lot of you guys are. Some might call it psychic, intuitive, heightened senses, whatever. It's just, you be knowing. You be knowing whenever there's foul play afoot. Whether it be with certain situations, people, um, or yourself, Okay. I see a lot of you guys have enough self-awareness uh, to uh, notice this. Now, there is a flip side to this. While Nine of Wands comes with a lot of good qualities, it could also come with some teeny, teeny, tiny negative qualities. Nine of Wands can be a little bit of a stubborn energy. So what you need to be careful also about fire signs is you the villain. You are the villain. You need to be careful about that. You are the cause of your own demise. You the problem. You need to be careful about that being you, babe. And with the nine of wands, you're like, it can't be me. It can't be me, girl. <laughs> and it could. <laughs> it could be. Okay. The hell is this? You know, I see a lot of you guys. There could be a lot of past connections that you've had that just. Uh, ten of wands and the devil. Uh weights anchor temperance that's what i just saw okay um balance i think it's funny that i saw that so you guys how is mars and scorpio that was a conversation in my head and it wound up me actually saying that i was talking to myself so you guys, how's the Mars and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs October 12th until November 23rd in the year 2023? Two of Wands with the Five of Wands. A lot of fire sign energy showing up here, babe. Um, yeah, be aware that any decisions that you are making currently can definitely affect you. Any time in the near future. Three of Wands to me is definitely the near future. So please be aware that, you know, not every decision that you make is just for that moment. Okay? Yeah, you got the two and the three of Wands out here. So just, just be aware of uh, what you're getting involved in, how you're conducting yourself during this time. It might leave um, a messier stain than what you think. For, um, you know, days, weeks, months, years to come. Just be mindful of the decisions that you're making during this time, guys. <sighs> Spirit, guys. I see some of you guys have been, done a very good job at keeping your ass away from the bullshit. That don't mean it ain't still coming your way. Be aware that even though some of you guys do a very good job keeping, your, keeping yourself away from 2323 confirmations, the mess. That don't mean the mess don't still be out here. So here, guys, how is Mars and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? October 12th until November 23rd in the year 2023. Another wand, five of wands. You ever heard it saying you can be your own worst enemy? Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Some of you guys, I really feel like there's a lot of obstacles that you create yourself. It's like some of you guys make things harder than what they need to be because what are you out here doing? <laughs> it's like there's certain things that you could be stubborn towards. You know, you're kind of like set in your ways. You're fixed 
Okay, a lot of y'all are fixed. What is it? Uh, Leo and... I think it's Leo. I think Leo is only fixed uh, fire sign. Okay, but a lot of you guys are very fixed, Leo. Five of Wands. Let me, let me find out. I just be, just, just, be, just be pulling it out, okay? But... If you have a fixed personality, meaning that you you were not the biggest fan of change, what I bring up at the beginning of the reading, change your ways. A lot of you guys could need to learn to be more adaptable, okay? Not being stuck in your own ways. Not thinking that you and you alone know the solution, okay? Sometimes it's okay to ask for help, look for other resources. It's okay sometimes. Go outside your own network, you know? Last card. Spirit guys, how it... How, I'm about to tell you in a minute. How is Mars and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs October 12th until November 23rd in the year 2023? Like I said, last card, baby, last card. Knight of Wands. Heavy fire energy. This was your reading and your reading alone. You was like, I wish a bitch would come in here. Trying to sp take the spotlight from me. Some of y'all, that is a representation of your life, though. <laughs> I do... Feel like some of y'all just be minding your business, going about town, doing your thing, being you, the fire, fire, fire sign that you are. Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. And sometimes that bothers people. Um, or just some people just come across you already, you know, causing trouble, and they want to bring it your way. And you gotta be like, no, not around here, partner. Not to my house. Not to my house, okay. And sometimes you will hurt people's feelings by saying that, you know, now you a bitch. I be that. Okay, in my red man voice, I be that. I'm also seeing that there's someone here outside your energy who feels like you got the one up on them. Because something that they tried to do to you didn't work. Seven of swords and the three of swords. It's like... The get back that they tried to do to you winded up, you know, uno reverse. Reverse, okay? That's what you did. The law of attraction. You see how it work? You see how it be coming together? I don't know, girl. That must be cracking this mocha frap because I am on one right now. It's 11 o'clock at night. Well, 1043. And I'm on one right now. All right, bro. Stay guarded. Stay Committed to the teams, three of ones, six of ones, and two of ones, and the night of ones that you are trying to go after, trying to break into. Be aware there are haters around you, seven of swords and the five of wands. Be mindful of the people that try to bring drama into your life, or they giving them flags, bitch. Be on the lookout. This is your Mars and Scorpio reading. Um, remember, sun or Mars in a fire sign, and some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>